Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about burnout. And this has been a topic that is, you know, come back and forth in Lost Ark, right? I think it was really, really big back during the summer of 2023. And that was when we got the big like chaos to dungeon changes, the changes to one guardian rate per day. Like there was a lot of talk about burnout back then. But I think now more than ever is another period where people are feeling burned out of the game. And I think that largely has to do with Theamine. And it's really interesting because there are people that I would never think they would say that they feel burnout from the game because they just love the game so much. They have started to say like, hey, I'm feeling quite burned out because I have to do all these Theamines. I have to do Theamine hard. I have to do all these Theamine normals. And it really is just taking away time from everything else to the point where people are like, man, I'm jealous that some people just get to sit there and do homework content and just kind of chill out and relax. I think that's really ridiculous. And a lot of times, you know, some people are like, oh, you can definitely prevent burnout from, you know, happening by doing this and that and that. And I think that's true, right? For me, I personally don't really feel burned out from the game because I don't really play the game like a lot of other people. I may always talk about things like what the most efficient route to do is or the most efficient thing to do is in the game, but I actually rarely follow that example and do the most efficient thing. If you come on my stream, you'll know that by the end of the week on reset day, I'll probably have maybe like six or so raids left undone, maybe even more sometimes. And that's because how I play the game is I just do what I want to do. Like if I feel like playing raids, I'll do it. If people ask me to do it with them and I feel like playing with them, I'll do it. If I don't feel like doing a certain raid of one week, I usually don't do it. I just like, you know what? Screw it. It's not worth it. I don't want to do it for a reason, right? Because it's, you know, something I don't want to do. So that's kind of how I play the game and that's how I avoid burnout. But I would say that even though there are things that you can do yourself to prevent burnout, I think that it's largely the developer's fault for creating a system where people do end up feeling burnout. They feel like they have to min max everything and, you know, be at the latest content, do all their raids on every single character, every single raid and make the most gold as possible, because that's what kind of Lost Ark is. If you don't do this, a lot of people do end up having to swipe to make up for lost progress or lost gold because they weren't really playing the most efficiently. And for me, that has definitely been somewhat of the case. I'd say that for the most part, luckily I've been able to um, avoid swiping too much, but that doesn't mean I haven't swiped for progress, right? At some point, if you are playing really inefficiently, you're just not gonna be able to keep up with the pack. And as a result, you're going to have to swipe to keep up. But that's my choice, right? That's because I play inefficiently, but I still wanna keep up with the pack. I would say that for most of you guys, I would probably recommend you to just play at your own pace and, you know, if you don't make it to the latest content on day one, that's fine. Like, for example, like I'm technically not even at the latest content, right? I don't have a single 1630. I have not done Vesco. I have not done Theamine hard, right? But at the same time, I feel like I'm very satisfied with where I am in the game and where I am with my process. So I would implore anybody who is feeling burnout to try just taking a step back a little bit. Do what you feel like doing and don't do what you don't feel like doing. And also, you guys might not like this answer. And I think Stoops got a lot of flack would talk about this as well and saying this a while back. But if you're feeling burned out, maybe it's just time to take a little bit of a break from Lost Ark, right? I think that that's definitely a healthy thing to do. I've done it before um, and I came back more re-energized than ever. And I think that's a healthy thing for anybody to do who is feeling super burned out about the game. But also, here is something that I've done in the past that has made the rating process a lot easier. I think a lot of people are burned out because of the difficulty of Theamine and how they're getting trapped in lobbies, jailed in lobbies, stuck in these raids all day, right? And honestly, what I've done in the past is just skip week one, week two, week three of the raid. And then week four, I come back in. And by then, everybody has kind of learned how to clear the raid already. And the reclears are much easier. Granted, I do have friends who play the game who will take me along and kind of teach me along the way as I'm raiding. But at the same time, I think that anybody who has this option should definitely take it. Like, it's so much easier to clear a raid when you have people around you who are already reclear and can kind of hold your hand along the way. 
it just makes the rating process a lot simpler, a lot faster, a lot smoother, and a lot more enjoyable in my opinion. Well, I guess enjoyable is, you know, based on your own opinion, right? Some people love grinding through it. Some people don't. Some people like just kind of kicking back, learning things by their own pace and, you know, getting sort of carried by their friends, right? It is definitely up to your um, own personal preferences, but that's kind of what I'd recommend for people who are feeling burned out. But yes, right now we are in a phase where a lot of people are feeling burned out about the game and largely that has to do with Thamine. But I would say that things should change fairly soon. With Echidna coming out, yes, it is coming out pretty soon for a lot of people, you know, in their opinion. But I think that Echidna and Behemoth are two raids that are kind of used as a way to kind of counteract raiding fatigue um, and burnout because Thaymine is this really, really hard raid, right? And I would argue that Akan Hard is still one of the most jail raids in the game. Same with Voldus Ivory Tower, right? So we kind of have three raids in the game that can take quite a while to clear for end game players. But Echidna, if you think about it this way, was cleared in a day blind by the Koreans. And same with Behemoth. So with the upcoming content, it should be helping out with the raid fatigue just by a little bit because those raids are going to be much easier than Thaymine and the ones before, it's going to be less jail. So those who are feeling burned out right now, I'd say do your best to try, you know, if you want to take a break, right? Definitely go take a break. But if you want to continue to play the game in the meantime, please do just try to play the game your own way. Play it in a way that's not like super, super efficient, but just do what you want to do. And then eventually when Echidna comes out, the raid fatigue should be a little bit better and then even more so when Behemoth comes out. That's definitely my recommendation. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Are you feeling extreme fatigue and burnout recently? Or are you okay? Are you having fun with the game still? And I would love to do more raids, more Thay Mines. Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash me so hopefully I see you guys there. And also another thing, very likely, it's almost 100% kind of planned out right now. We are having a podcast this Friday and it's gonna be with three people big in the community. It's gonna be with Stoops, it's gonna be with Cotty, and it's gonna be with Revel. So that's gonna be on my channel, twitch.tv slash me so likely starting around like 6 p.m. PST. Still not really ironed out, but I just wanna give you guys that information now so you can expect that to come. But yes, hopefully I see you guys on my stream, either for that podcast or every other day. But if not, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.